Today, I'm gonna show you guys how to do this leopard slash cheetah print, whatever you guys wanna call it. People call it different things, but it's pretty, I think. Well, I'm gonna show you how to do it, so stay tuned. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's Maggie Rose back with another nail video. Today is actually a really fun one. I never have tried to do cheetah print or leopard print on my nails ever before. Um, definitely would be a lot easier if I just used regular nail polish, but I wanted to have this color. It's called Spiced and it's from Revel. I wanted to have the spiced color mixed in with the cheetah print, so I used my dip powders along with a black regular nail polish. So it was quite interesting, so I will, I took a recording up close for you as I did it to show you. Before I show you guys exactly how I did it, I wanted to show you guys this little container thing. This was sent to me by the same company that sent me their starter kit that I love, but this top part is a French nail dip tray and I haven't tried it out as a French nail dip tray, but it feels like it'd be the same as my other one that I love. But the cool thing about this is that it has two different slidey things. Yep, it has two different trays right here. It's not very self-cleaning, so you're gonna have to like get in there and clean it out once you're done using it. But it's really nice for manicures like this where you wanna do a special design on a nail. It's designed that you can do the pour over method, which I don't use because it takes too much time. But the purpose of this is you use the first tray and you pour the dip powder in this first tray and then you keep the bottom tray empty and then you put your finger over the hole and you pour it over top of your nail and then you put it back in take the bottom one out so the next time you have a nail you pour it from the bottom one so it's kind of nice for if you like to do the pour over method for dip powder nails i don't like that method it takes too long anyway just wanted to say that i got this from that company and i used it in this manicure and it worked really well it's not necessary you could totally go without it and use like a cuticle pusher and scoop out and pour it on your nail but that honestly takes longer because you're scooping little bits at a time and that has like a giant scoop handle tray thing anyway enough with that let's get into the nail stuff so the first thing i did was i wanted to do the orange dots first to get them out of the way because they'd be the hardest because they are the dip powder so i got this little tray that i made out of painter's tape because i didn't have an actual tray with me and i'm doing my nails outside last minute you know you know how it goes so i made this little makeshift tray and i put a little blob of the step one onto this tray and then i used my special dotting tool i'll have all of the tools that i use today in the description box for you if you want to take a look at what I have for yourself but I use my dotting tool along with step one to place these orange dots and I took my dotting tool put it in step one and then put it on a couple different spots kind of sporadically on my nail I then took my little special tray thing and dumped it over top and tapped it off in the tray and then I moved on to my pinky and you can see me taking a long time on my pinky because I wasn't sure if I was only gonna do half of that nail or if I was gonna do the whole thing ended up doing the whole thing but it took me a while to figure that out but yeah so I did the same thing to my pinky nail and then once I was done with all that I put step two on the on those both of those nails and then after that was all dried then I went and I buffed it a little bit because they were more bumpy because it's a dip powder not just a regular nail polish so I buffed them down and then I filed them a little bit to kind of give them like a little bit of a um, less polka dotty look if you file the dip powder a little bit it kind of deforms the circle and makes it look a little bit like i don't know free flowing i guess it's really hard to explain but you can see it in the video after i did that then i brushed all my nails off and everything and then i went ahead and put a blob of black regular nail polish on my little makeshift tray and i used my very special brush this is very important that you have a short brush for this I tried to use the long brush that came with my black nail polish to kind of fix up some things off camera but it didn't really work like it was really hard to use that brush so use a small short brush I will link this one below for you because this is the best brush for this effect and it worked so well for me so I just kind of placed black everywhere that there was orange and I kind of made like two commas like one comma on the one side of the orange circle and another comma on the other side but i it, okay look at my hands really quick 
So these are the big sides of the commas. I did not have them do this. I turned it like that, <laughs> if that makes sense. So around the orange, let me see a good hand you can see it on. This finger, you can see it if it focuses. See how on this middle one, the bigger part, they're kind of opposite of each other? Because you don't want it to look the same. Like you want it to give that like animal print feel. So you kind of just think of it as question marks. You want snacks all together? Yeah. Okay, I'm almost done here. Do you want me to hold you? Yeah. Okay. So after I did the um, quote commas around the orange polka dots, I guess, it's really hard to describe this as I'm saying it that out loud. I made sure that I went and I put a little bit of tiny little black dots just sporadically throughout the nail that were not connected to orange because it makes it look more unique and more animal-like. So after I did that, then I went ahead and let that dry for a bit. Okay, go ahead. And I highly recommend Revel Nails Matte Gel Top Coat, which I forgot at the salon to bring my light home with me, so I could not use Revel's Matte Gel Top Coat. So I used like a Sally Hansen regular matte gel top coat that's not gel that you don't need a light i don't recommend that like i recommend it if you buy it right now and use it but if you've had it in your cupboard for a while and then forgot about it and then try to use it it does not work because it separates and you cannot get it to mix back together and then it does this so on my pinky nail on my one hand you can see there's like a white line down my pinky yeah but yeah, so after that, you're pretty much done. I didn't even put any top coat on these first three nails on either hand. That's just after buffing them. And once I go back into the salon, I will probably put on that Revel matte gel top coat on those just to kind of make it like a finished look. But anyway, that is how I did this cheetah slash leopard print look. I hope that I didn't ramble and I hope that that kind of made sense to you. Um, let me know in the comments if you try it and if it works for you or if you found a different method that works better. I'd love to hear what you think in the comments. Thank you guys for watching. Keep smiling, keep finding the joy. I'll see you next time. Yeah, see you next time. Thanks guys. Bye. Around the circ around the or I can't speak. Oh my goodness. But my hands are super dry. I did not put cuticle oil on. Mm -hmm. So hey, thank hey, you guys. Hey, out of your mouth. <laughs> You're good. No.